it started with uh, small patches of hair falling off, eyebrows uh, disappeared. I felt that I was um, so ugly when I knew that I was the daughter of God. But there are moments that you look at yourself and uh, you think that this is what I look like now. It's so far from how I used to look. I had to tell myself that I'm still, I'm still darling. I'm still a daughter of my Heavenly Father, and the Lord still loves me. I never cried in front of her. First thing I did was go inside a small room, and in that moment, I cried so hard. That's the first time I cried to my Heavenly Father, and somehow asked Him to give me strength. When I found out it was already in my liver, my pelvic bones, my spine, uh, some uh, my shoulder, a lot of uh, places. And I was very aware that, you know, there might be a chance I wouldn't be able to see my children through school or their wedding or a lot of things. So I really treasured every moment. I cannot contain the emotions that I have. But when I prayed to our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ, somehow they gave me comfort. He loves me. He loves my wife. He loves my family. He loves my children. And I told my husband, we're going to be open to the children about it. I know they're young, but we need to have that conversation. It's a very emotional and difficult conversation to have with your children. Um, and of course, I, I told my husband as well, I didn't want our children to always ask Heavenly Father to please help mommy survive this, to get better, because we, were, we weren't sure. And you know, at some point, I thought I might not survive. And I didn't want my children to think that Heavenly Father did not help us because I know He would. But we wanted them to know that Heavenly Father's plan is bigger than our plans. And whatever happened will be on Heavenly Father's terms. And I always told my children that these things happen because there is a purpose. And Heavenly Father in Jesus has a purpose why He gave these challenges to us. And we need to accept it and live by it and learn from it. You know, we don't know why bad things happen to good people. We do not know how much of these things God permits to happen or allows to happen or how much of them He wants to happen. We are here to learn about the plan of the Savior for us. So I had to go through chemo, 18 cycles, so that's 18 weeks. My hair has grown back, but because I'm a stage four, my doctor said I will never be cancer free. I'm just in remission. I would be very honest, I think it's the best thing that ever happened in my life because I wouldn't have experienced all of this knowledge and I wouldn't realize how much the Savior loves me if I didn't go through all of this. I wouldn't be so bold as to say, you know, it's easy to get through if you read the scriptures or pray because it, it's, it wasn't easy. But I've been very blessed with all of the help that Heavenly Father sent my way.